Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by cardiac output. You should then be able to calculate cardiac output. And finally, you should be able to rearrange the equation for cardiac output to calculate either heart rate or stroke volume. In previous videos we've been looking at the structure of the human heart. Remember that blood passes through the heart twice on its journey around the body. Deoxygenated blood from the body enters the right side of the heart, where it's pumped from the right atrium down to the right ventricle. The right ventricle then pumps the deoxygenated blood to the lungs, where oxygen diffuses into the blood. The oxygenated blood now returns to the left side of the heart, where it's pumped from the left atrium down to the left ventricle. The left ventricle now pumps the oxygenated blood around the whole body, so that oxygen can be delivered to the body organs. In this video we're looking at cardiac output. Now in order to understand cardiac output, we first need to look at two other terms. These are heart rate and stroke volume. The heart rate is the number of heartbeats in one minute. In a resting human, the heart rate can range from around 60 beats per minute to around 100 beats per minute. However, during exercise the heart rate can rise significantly. The stroke volume is the volume of blood pumped out of a ventricle during each contraction, and normally we consider the left ventricle, since this pumps blood around the body. A typical stroke volume is around 70 centimeters cubed. Okay, now the cardiac output tells us the volume of blood pumped into the circulatory system in one minute. To calculate the cardiac output, we multiply the heart rate by the stroke volume. To convert the cardiac output from centimeters cubed per minute to decimeters cubed per minute, we simply divide by 1000. Here's a sample question for you. A person has a resting heart rate of 65 beats per minute and a left ventricular stroke volume of 75 centimeters cubed. Calculate the cardiac output in decimeters cubed per minute. So pause the video and try this yourself. Okay, the cardiac output is the heart rate multiplied by the stroke volume. Multiplying 65 beats per minute by 75 centimeters cubed gives us a cardiac output of 4,875 centimeters cubed per minute. Dividing this by 1,000 gives us 4.875 decimeters cubed per minute. Okay, now you might be asked to determine the cardiac output using an ECG trace, and we looked at ECGs in the last video. I'm showing you an ECG trace here. On this ECG trace, the time interval is 0.2 seconds. Here's the question. A person's ECG trace is shown below. Their stroke volume is 60 centimeters cubed. Calculate their cardiac output. First, we need to measure the time taken for one heartbeat. To do that, measure the time from the start of one P wave to the start of the next P wave. In this case, the time is 0.8 seconds. One minute is 60 seconds. So we determine the heart rate in beats per minute by dividing 60 seconds by 0.8 seconds. This gives us a heart rate of 75 beats per minute. To work out the cardiac output, we multiply the heart rate by the stroke volume. Multiplying 75 beats per minute by 60 centimeters cubed gives us a cardiac output of 4,500 centimeters cubed per minute. And finally, dividing by 1,000 gives us a cardiac output of 4.5 decimeters cubed per minute. Okay, now we can also rearrange the equation for cardiac output to find either the heart rate or the stroke volume and I'm showing you the rearranged equations here. If you struggle to rearrange equations, then I'd strongly recommend that you learn these. Okay, so hopefully now you can calculate cardiac output.